Good evening, everyone. It's me again. I am doing another cigar smoking video. Um, not too long ago, I was given a cigar. Got it all prepped from... Hard to see if you can make it out. Got a cool barber pole. This one is from Dominion 6. Um, don't know too much about this company. I think they're based out of British Columbia. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments section. Um, not too long ago, I was given this cigar from a relative of mine, and I'm going to give it a whirl. Uh, it is available uh, in Canada and in the U.S., but um, as far as I know, this one is available in Barracoa uh, here in London, Ontario, and also uh, in the Niagara region, one cigar shop that I really speak highly of, uh, just from my personal experience, and also it was the best brick and mortar store I've ever been in. It doesn't have to be cigars, but still. Um, that would be a cigar experience, if I didn't say it. So I'm going to give this a whirl and uh, join me on what I think is a 30 minute journey of nonsensical rambling. Pretty decent draw. Kind of looks like a barber pole if you can see for yourself. Um, yeah, not bad. I've had this for a while. Been meaning to smoke it, but timing just hasn't worked out favorably. Yeah, so it's pretty decent. I don't mind it. Uh, if I had another one of these, I'd be doing this with London Batman, but he's busy doing his own thing right now, and I'm busy doing my own thing on my front porch. Now, I'm just going to go uh, to the webpage uh, from Dominion Cigars. Just going to uh, give you the details on this. The Barber, as this one's referred to, produced in the Dominican Republic at a small boutique factory. This new Dominion Maduro cigar for 2021 packs plenty of flavor with notes of nut roasted coffee produced with some of the finest tobaccos from Mexico, Nicaragua, and the Dominican Republic. The Barber is a cigar you can smoke at any time of the day and you'll add to your list of cigars and yeah, that's basically it. So the, that's kind of the basic specs of it. And yeah, I do notice the coffee notes in this uh, as far as this goes. Um, yeah, I'd probably have a good cup of coffee with this, but it's just after one in the morning, so I think that would wait a little bit. But yeah, I'm quite kind of pleased with this. I'm definitely going to keep the band as part of my collection. Um, I will geotag Barracoa because this is where it is. Also include um, the information for the contact information for uh, cigar experience in Niagara Falls. Uh, only because, like I said, I speak highly of that shop. Barracoa is pretty nice, too. Um, staff's great, and I definitely recommend checking it out. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is very nice. I absolutely enjoy this. And this was definitely worth the wait to smoke this. This, I think, would take about half an hour to go through. And it's my own little celebration for the Oilers winning tonight in overtime against Colorado. So I'm just happy Bouchard got that overtime winner. Now, if they can do it again, regulation style win, don't want it to go to overtime. Um, and if Vegas loses in any fashion whatsoever, regulation style, uh, Edmonton will win first place in the Pacific. Um, I hope. But I was kind of hoping uh, McDavid would have scored at least more than the one point. But he got the one point. It counts when it needed to be counted in that overtime winner. But I'm kind of hoping he would have had more points but so he could pass Yeiserman on the single season total for points. And I'm hoping this is his year for the Cup. I'm really hoping. I've been dying uh, to see the Oilers get the cup again. But, yeah, this is pretty decent. If you're looking for... Just want to get back to uh, Dominion 6 cigars, or Dominion cigars. Um, just, um, just trying to get the information here. Uh, their head office... Uh, Coquitlam, BC, um, internet, head offices, pluralize that, um, the Canadian office, Coquitlam, BC, uh, and, uh, Dominion Cigar International, Inc. in Las Vegas. Uh, we do not sell retail tobacco products direct to the general public might be in possession of valid retail tobacco license from the state you reside in and that's for the states um, as far as uh, uh, Quitlam BC goes I'll include the website for this place uh, and as far as their story goes because everyone's got a story yeah, so Dominion Cigar, Canadian National Cigar, distributor uh, of its own premium cigar brands focusing on the Canadian market. Dominion is a proud to be the only true Canadian boutique brand with its own direct distribution network to tobacconists uh, Canada-wide. This was no easy task. Owner Steve Ricker said, as it took close to a year and a half to get the appropriate tobacco licensing in place for each Canadian province. We plan to do business in red tape, more red tape, and hoops to jump through. Before I could truly get started, Ricker wanted to produce something very special in his first cigar, the Black Lotus. Deciding to produce the tobaccos the Oriente in Honduras. As we know, for producing such a fine cigars from Rocky Patel, Alec Bradley, just to name a couple, Ricker had the opportunity to collaborate with Ralph Montero of Alec Bradley on the new blend. Montero helped Ricker on his vision to produce a unique blend of the finest Honduran and Nicaraguan tobacco. It eventually became Black Lotus. Since its launch in late October 2014, Black Lotus has become very popular with cigar enthusiasts and tobacconists alike across Canada. In June 2015, Black Lotus became a top 20 seller in over half of the Canadian tobacconists that carry the cigar. That was no easy accomplishment in a country where Cuban cigar sales account for 80% of the entire Canadian cigar market. 
No other Canadian cigar brand has seen this kind of success domestically in over a century. Uh, what's next? Uh, Wrecker is planning to grow, uh, continue to gr uh, grow Dominion Cigar and its brands, putting the attention on development of new and exciting blends that will hopefully people will enjoy. In mid-August 2015, Dominion Cigar launched its much-anticipated follow-up to Black Lotus, the Florida Carlaro. I butchered that. I know it, and I own up to it. Uh, if you're a premier cigar retailer who shares this vision, uh, they want you to contact them. So that's kind of uh, the story to Dominion Cigar. So that's insanely impressive considering the fact that uh, the uh, cigar market in Canada is 80% over 80% Cuban tobacco. And I'm not gonna lie, I love my Cuban tobacco. Yeah, this is nice. So, overall, yeah, overall, this is pretty good. I actually enjoy this. Um, constructed well, looks like a barber pole. Uh, if you've seen other videos of me where my hair is kind of whatever, uh, my cousin's a barber, went to him, and he did what he needed to do. And it burned so well. I'm just going to get my cedar match stick or cedar uh, plank just to keep that aside. Okay, that's fine. I'm trying to get the ring light to go. And I think I need to charge the ring light. Um, but yeah, I'm impressed. I had no expectations from this cigar, and to be honest with you, I knew nothing of Dominion Cigar. And I gotta give the guy top props for uh, creating this company. Because uh, with current tobacco logos in Canada, uh, especially premium cigars, um, not the easiest thing to do, uh, no matter uh, who's in power. But, but I do like this. Um, at some point, I will probably call Barracoa to ask them if they have any more of these and just ask them for a price point. So... As far as price point goes, I have no idea because I don't know how much it costs because this was gifted to me. I was initially going to smoke this some months back, but the what stuff happened. The weather was terrible. Um, so I'm smoking it now. And I must say, this is quite enjoyable. Sorry. Yeah, it looks like my ring light's dying. And it looks like I may have to charge it, because I don't, again. But that's okay. I'll do that later to, um, Later on next time. It's not a priority right now. But I'll tell you what, if the ring light dies, so be it. Um, I'll have to wipe my hand at the porch light. <sighs> yeah, so. Yeah. As you can see. Usually a cigar like this will take about a half hour, 40 minutes to burn. Um, and I must say, this is absolutely pleasant. So, got no qualms about this. And I gotta say, this is a very fine company. And I'm looking at this cigar 
the more I look at it, uh, the more I'm reminded of my late uncle, my dad, and my cousin, um, who are all barbers. Um, my cousin is the only one that followed through on becoming a barber. Uh, everyone else, um, as far as my cousins goes, we were looking at other things to do as we got older. So I'm happy my cousin's doing what he's doing and also happy that my other cousins are doing what they're doing. And I gotta say, um, I'm in a happy place that uh, some of my, uh, I don't have a lot of people on, that subscribe to me on YouTube, but I'm grateful for the 170 that are subscribing to me. Um, don't know what I'm gonna, what I'm expecting with this channel, but as it stands, uh, cigar reviews, spicy food reviews, which I haven't done for a while, alcohol reviews, which I haven't done for a while, um, and also doing a little bit of urbex and checking out abandoned places and cemeteries because that's the kind of thing I like to do, and maybe some travel. Because I'm trying to, I don't have a niche, it's just I'm kind of all over the place. And I know the one thing I wouldn't mind doing, I wouldn't mind doing more travel. Um, check out more places, if I get a chance, check out more cigars. Uh, and also uh, find other points of interest. But all in all, this is decent. Kind of enjoy this. And I'm just going to remove. All right. I didn't expect that ash to fall. I'm just getting a little nitpicky with the cigar band. That's not how I wanted to remove it, but I'll save it. But, um, but yeah, this is nice. So I'm not exactly sure how much this cigar costs because like I mentioned earlier, it was just given to me. And I'm okay with that. But, um, yeah, as far as it goes, uh, quite content. Uh, I'm an absinthe drinker. Not an easy thing to pair at, with cigars because it's not something you associate with, but, um, yeah, just about any rum, any scotch would do, uh, any brandy. I think with this would be fine. But overall, because of the coffee flavor, I'm leaning towards coffee. Don't know why. The only problem is I'm just not sure which coffee. Sure, coffee's coffee, but not all coffees are created equal. So, yeah, not bad. I like. But I will be honest with you, I'm not a fan of the plain packaging uh, from these cigar companies uh, that they've had to endure. Um, in Canada, it's cut and dry uh, as far as the packaging laws on cigars. Um, in the States, I think it, 
depends on where you live in the States. I'm not 100% sure. If you're in the States and you're watching this, let me know because I want to know. <sighs> but yeah, this is nice. Excellent way to unwind. And not much I can say for sure. And it's a nice quiet night. No weirdos walking around my neighborhood, so shows are a good time to do this. Sorry about that. Also, one thing I've learned um, right after you punch your cigar um, or cut it with a cutter, if you have a paper clip, kind of just poke a hole in the end just to make it easier uh, to enjoy and to smoke. And I do hope um, down the road I do make a trip to Toronto. Um, there's one cigar shop I went to, didn't have a lot of time to go check out their stuff, but it looked like a nice stock uh, shop. I don't remember where it is, but I wouldn't mind going there just to pick up just a couple. And of course, when in Toronto, you gotta hit up Carrenti's. It's the oldest cigar factory in Canada, and they've uh, they provide a lot of their cigars uh, to a lot of movies, um, and also it's very well known. A lot of people uh, uh, that are well off uh, to just average people like myself and you if you're watching this uh go there and usually pick up some cigars myself when i go uh to Carentis, i try to leave with at least about six if i can uh one of these days uh, i will do special prep work and i wouldn't mind getting a couple el presidentes uh if time if it permits but um courtesy dictates that you call ahead because I'm not sure what the how long it takes to make a cigar like that by hand because it's an art uh, like anything uh, it's an art like baking a cake it's an art like um, um, uh, graffiti art it's if you kind of know what I mean <sighs> yeah, and I do hope I can be able to make it down to Cuba because I'd like to do, uh, I'd like to check out some places and do some tours. And hopefully I can go down to Florida. Um, there's some places in Florida I would love to check out. That much I can say for sure. I only say Florida because uh, Little Havana, a lot of cigar shops in Little Havana. Um, also, Wynwood, great graffiti artist district, graffiti art all over all over Wynwood. Uh, South Beach is South Beach, a lot of great scenery there. Also, the ocean. and a lot of cool art deco buildings. So, not much I can say for sure. Yeah, so, yeah, that's kind of about it. So, this moment, 
I'm just checking. Just Facebook stuff, so that's just me. Just about 20 minutes in. I have a feeling this is going to take at least another half hour. Yeah, I'm going to message the person that gifted me this cigar. I'll let him know that this is a pretty, that this is a damn fine cigar. I got nothing but high praise. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like my ring light started to get dark. But I'm going to carry on. Um, I've already made it this far in the cigar, so I might as well just finish it off. But yeah, um, that's about it. Uh, it. I should have thought about doing this as a live stream on YouTube, but too late. Uh, there's other times. Um, yeah, so... Have you tried this cigar? Uh, what did you think of it? Do you have any thoughts? Was there something you like about this? Something you don't like about it? Um, were you kind of meh? Nah? Yeah? But I think it's kind of cool how that kind of looks like a barber pole. Like hard to see when it's starting to get darker because of the ring light, but that's okay. <sighs> but all in all, it's all good. Uh, I know that I'm going to need to get some cigars for horror movie convention I'm going to be going to in early May. Um, I don't know how many I'll get for it so just need to make sure I keep a good decent adequate stock but tomorrow I gotta meet up with a friend of mine uh, go to a cigar shop we like and I'm hoping the patio is ready because the weather has been absolutely gorgeous this week if not um, we'll just walk around with our cigars in hand So overall, um, yeah, this has just been a fine cigar. Um, now, if you want to know for me personally what cigars I don't like, I'm not a fan of Caldwell cigars. Um, I bought a couple of them. They draw was kind of flat, my personal take. Another one from Indian Motorcycles. It was just very harsh. Um, yeah, I, I just should have stuck to the stuff I like, but I try. And um, you sometimes have to go out of your way to try different stuff you may or may not like. And I'm not sure what um, travel laws are like regarding cigars in certain countries, but um, I'll worry about that when that time comes. And if I find a cigar shop, in wherever uh, I'll buy a couple to try but I know for me I've always been a Gurkha fan a um, friend of mine introduced me to them and that was probably the best experience I've ever had in my life uh, the ghost series are my favorites And I know that I'm due to do another cigar video with London Batman. Uh, I'll worry about that when that time comes. And we'll figure out what kind of liqueur goes well with this because he loves his Gibsons. And, but Gibsons is good. Gibsons will pair well with any kind of cigar. 
Uh, we're just, I'm just hoping we could try something else other than Gibson's. But yeah, if you're gonna find me, um, yeah, by all means, uh, follow me on, uh, on my medias, uh, Instagram, well, Facebook, TikTok, um, where else? Um, there's other platforms I need to go back and start uh, making content on. It's not because I'm slacking, it's just because, um, like any other creator, I may have spread myself too thin. But so far, so good. I have about a third left of this stick, so. <sighs> This is so far turning out to be a real nice night. Don't know how I'll dress tomorrow, but because of the temperatures, I'll figure that out. I always do. I should have charged the ring light on. But I'll do that tomorrow morning for a little bit, and then again tomorrow night. <sighs> yeah, this is nice. This is real nice. Um, got no issue with this. Dominion cigars. You make yourself a very fine cigar. And if uh, whoever's working for Dominion cigars watching this, thank you. been a very enjoyable experience and I definitely dig that but um, I know that down the road I'm gonna get together with a friend of mine and my friend London Batman and we're gonna uh, go ahead and smoke some more cigars But, um, yeah, that much I can say for sure. <sighs> this is nice. I really hope this continues to carry on through um, as far as the temperatures goes. But it's early April. I'm sorry, just about halfway through April. I know this is just a tease, because they're just like a, a drop of a dime that can change in a heartbeat, so. That's something to be, uh, be expected. And if the patio isn't set up, like I said, um, where I wanna go tomorrow uh, for cigar smoking, uh, you can't drink laws again in Canada. Um, one or the other or neither so it's either this or alcohol or neither well technically not true but um, go there have a cigar enjoy the patio play catch up with uh, people you like also see if I can get some news about something I'm hoping I can do this summer that I've been wanting to do, but so far it hasn't happened, but time will tell. And I'm sorry about that, because I keep doing that. But Yeah, but I'm definitely digging this Barber series. Um, if I get a chance to try Black Lotus, I hope I do. Um, I'll either order them from Dominion or uh, call, uh, give Barraco a call and see what if they have it. And I know I got some day trips planned uh, down the road, so I'm hoping to do checking out more stuff see what else I can find uh, 
<sighs> but so far this has been pleasant. <sighs> That much I can say for sure. But not bad. I actually enjoy this. Yeah, my ring light is starting to die, so uh, it's not as luminescent as it should be, but that's because I haven't charged it in a while. I do have a little bit of light, but nothing. But no, this is pretty decent. I dig this. This is kind of where I'm at right now. So, and I'm actually surprised. It's taking a lot longer than I thought it would, but it's a good burn. And I definitely dig that. <sighs> so, at some point, this is pretty decent. I do like this. It's enjoyable. It's kind of chill. But yeah, so far so good. Um, yeah, if I have to give a, I hate doing numerical ratings, one to uh, zero to ten. But if I have to give a rating to this one, give it a solid seven. As far as value goes, um, I got it as a gift, so it's free. So that's value there. Um, as far as the initial draw, when I lit it, decent. Uh, the band is cool. But yeah, this is nice. I enjoy it. Also the fact it looks like a barber pole. That's a nice detail right there. And I do enjoy it, so it's all good. Um, yeah, that, not much else I can say other than, uh, it, give this a whirl. I think you might like it. Also, the one thing I learned is, um, if you don't have the patience for uploading a video, I mean, uh, if you got the patience to record a video, just from personal experience, um, don't do a long, vi long form video. In, 40, in 4K. It takes forever to upload, especially with this one going 40 minutes almost. So, yeah, that's kind of some of my near closing thoughts. Um, it's just starting to unravel. That part is kind of my fault because it's just a little bit dry, but Yeah, this is decent. It's probably one of the better Robustos I've had in a while. Um, it's bound well, good construction. Um, decent flavor. Um, just as far as closing thoughts goes, you don't have to do alcohol with this um, because of the coffee flavor I've noticed in this. Yeah, definitely a nice uh, medium roast would do the trick. Not a, not keen on dark roast, kills all the caffeine, but if you're looking for a dark roast coffee, I think it'd be okay with this. Myself, personally, not a fan of dark roast. And I like how this is turning out. This is pretty decent. If I end up getting more than, uh, if I get this again, 
as well as a second one of these. I know I'm not going to get one for free, but um, I'll definitely, I'll definitely uh, do a cigar video with London and Batman again. Uh, I enjoyed that so much with him. He's been he's been one of my really good friends and one of my close friends over the last 20 plus years. Um, also include his Facebook and Instagram stuff as well. So that's kind of about it. So I enjoy this. Nice smoke, good construction, good wrap. This one is about a 35 minute burn up to this moment. So getting near the nub. And with how much I've been spitting, I'm most likely gonna put it out on the on where I've been spitting. So just not yet, because I still have a bit of stick to enjoy. So yeah, that's kind of about it. So this isn't bad. I enjoy it. Um, it's not what I usually smoke, but uh, for a Robusto, this is nice. It's enjoyable. And I know I wouldn't mind going to Chatham. There's one place I wouldn't mind checking out. Um, Toronto, there's some places I wouldn't mind checking out. Um, talked with a friend of mine, gonna go to Niagara on the Lake. Also gonna check out a winery that he's got some passes to. He invited me. I'm gonna go. I have to figure out the date that's perfect for him. And yeah, make a day of it. Also, yeah, that's kind of it right there. Uh, so I like how this has turned out. It's decent. Yeah, I'm just about near the end. Whew. So yeah, this is this is it. Give it a good favorable rating. It's a nice stick. Definitely smoke it again. Um, go if you're in the states, go on their website to see what, depending where, to see where in the states they have this cigar um, also if you're looking uh, if you're nowhere near where they sell this in Canada or in the States contact them either in their Las Vegas headquarters or their uh, B or their um, British Columbia headquarters I'm sure they'll be able to help you out just to see if they'll send it out to you um, yeah, and that's about it. As far as Barracoa goes, check them out. Show them some love in London, Ontario. Uh, if they have it, give it a go there and check it out. Yeah, this is this is exceptional. This is a great way to end the night, uh, or morning, or a great way to start my morning, depending on your perspective. So, yeah, I got no issue with this. This is nice. This is exceptional. This is kind of this is kind of a good day to good way to end the night with this cigar, or even just uh, enjoy the day with it. So, all in all, all in all, pretty decent. <sighs> Not much else I can say. Yeah, so. Yeah, 40. Video is 44, 45 minutes long, but 40 minutes in, I kind of like how this is, so. <sighs> Gonna end the video soon, so. Yeah, if you like what you see, uh, by all means, like, subscribe, comment, give me a follow. Uh, if you kind of like what you see here, yeah, like I mentioned, like, subscribe, comment, and follow. 
there's any other cigars you think I need to look into, uh, like I mentioned, please leave it in the comments section. I'll look for it. Uh, I'll give it a shot to see uh, as long as I'm able to get it. Uh, I'll give it a shot. Give it a try. I want to know what you think. Uh, what I uh, I should try next. Uh, I have other cigars. I'm just kind of saving them right now. But there is one cigar I want to try with um, London Batman. I just need to get a couple and give him a whirl with him. But overall, this is decent. I know I should have just left the ash going, but I just needed to flick it. And I'm going to end it right here. So. Yeah, just want to get back in my house, call it a night, and yeah, there's not much else I can say. So anyways, have a good night, and I don't have a set schedule for these videos, so I just post them whenever I see fit. Um, and if I get to the point where I can actually cr um, get this channel monetized, uh, I wouldn't mind creating more content um kind of like how i do right now um and that's about it so that, yeah that's about all i can say so if you like what you see leave a like leave a comment subscribe want to know what you think and this is kind of the moment where i sign off and call it a day or night or whatever time zone you're in we'll call it that so have a good one, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see ya.